Hey everyone, welcome to Pakistan. A diverse land of soaring mountains, hot sand dunes, arid plateaus, and fertile river valleys. The country has the world's sixth largest population. More than 165 million residents call it Pakistan home. Capital is Islamabad, official language is Urdu and English, and currency is Pakistani rupee. Climate is mostly hot and dry in the south, but mild in the northwest, frigid in the mountains. Products are cotton, wheat, rice, sugar, cane, fruit, mutton, textiles, and clothes, food, chemicals, paper products, and fertilizers, and so on. Eye-catching designs cover many of Pakistan's trucks and buses. The mobile art galleries attract passengers and customers. Pakistan produces some of the world's finest fabrics. Each region of the country has its own style of embroidery, geometric shapes, landscapes, and flowers are common patterns. Some 70% of Pakistan's population lives in rural areas. Now let's go on to the Pakistan timeline. From 3000 BC to 1500 BC, the Indus Valley civilization establishes industries and carries on trade. 1700 BC, Aryan tribes from Asia invaded the Indus Valley. Their strict class system and belief in many gods leads to the Hindu religion. So now let's go on to 711 AD. Islam comes to the region when Arab general Muhammad bin Qasim conquers Sindh, a kingdom of the Indian subcontinent. Now let's go on to 1526 the rule of the Mongol Empire begins, unifying much of the subcontinent. Now let's go on to 1858 BC. British overthrow the Mongols and take control of India. Now let's go on to 1947. India gains independence. It is divided along religious lines to two countries, Muslim Pakistan and Hindu India. The new nation is separated to East Pakistan and West Pakistan, with India in the middle. Muhammad Ali Jinnah becomes Pakistan's leader. Now let's go on to 1965. Pakistan and India go to war over Kashmir, a region they both claim. The dispute which has also led to war in 1949 will flare up again in 1971 and 1999 or 1999 1971 and 1972 east pakistan proclaims its independence after a civil war it becomes independent and the nation of bangladesh 1998 in response to india's testing the nuclear weapons pakistan conducts its own tests 2001. After September 11, or also known as 9-11, terrorist attacks in the U.S., Pakistan becomes a U.S. ally in the war to remove Taliban and Al-Qaeda from Afghanistan. 2007. Former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto is assassinated during a campaign rally. 2013, general election, Nawaz Sharif becomes the 13th Prime Minister of Pakistan. 2014, Peshawar School Massacre, which was a very sad moment. 2015, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, also known as CPEC. And now in 2017, we have Pakistan Super League, which is going to be very exciting, which consists of Lahore calendars, Karachi Kings, Islamabad United, Kuwait Gla Gladiators, and Peshawar Zalmi, which is actually a huge cricket match. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.